Hi everyone, Jeremy Robinson here. And I just wanna give you a couple of quick but important updates. So in late 2018, MailChimp updated its visual branding. Now this was strictly a visual update. It should not affect the functioning of the software at all. Everything should be in more or less the same place, but it may just look a little different than in some of my tutorials. If you do notice anything that is out of place, please let me know and I'd be happy to address it in a further tutorial. Uh, secondly, a MailChimp did change one of its key terms in 2019. Instead of using the term lists, MailChimp is now using the term audiences. However, these are entirely interchangeable. So when you see the term lists in my tutorials, uh, you can substitute the word audiences but again, those should function entirely the same way. Thirdly, for those of you who use Shopify, in the Connecting Your Store to MailChimp tutorial, I show you the MailChimp for Shopify app. That app has gone away. MailChimp and Shopify had a bit of a breakup, but there is a substitute app, a workaround, that has all the same features. And so I've added a new lesson uh, tutorial on how to do that. It's right after Connecting Your Store to MailChimp. And finally, I just want to thank everyone for taking the course and making this course the highest rated MailChimp course on Udemy. And I love all the positive feedback I've been getting. And the one consistent thing that I've been getting feedback on is people love the automation tutorials, which are actually at the end of the course. Um, but I'd highly recommend you go through those tutorials, if nothing else, if you want to just skip through to the end to get those. But those are going to deliver a huge amount of value to you and your store. So again, thanks so much for taking the course. If you have any feedback or questions, please just reach out to me.